Reva, what smells remind you of home? Um, I'm not sure what reminds me of my home home, but whenever I smell burning turf, it always ah, makes me feel like yeah. really nostalgic for where my granddad's house yeah. uh, is in Burst Cane. Tipperary. In Tip, yeah. I have the very same for my, where my mum's from. In my fossil fuels fossil <laughs> fuels well because that's gonna be a thing of the past isn't I, it i know they're stopping people gets they've stopped they've stopped already they have stopped wild um but where my boyfriend now lives where nico lives well, i don't know why i said that <laughs> my boyfriend you know where boyfriend. my boyfriend lives <laughs> um we actually they have a, a little bit of bog and every year we foot the turf stack the turf so it's out to dry. I've had an absolute lesson in turf in the last couple of years. And they maintain that when it's done, that turf was never meant to be kind of mass produced. It was always supposed to just be for people to kind of dip in and out of. Really, yeah? Well, that, you know, that when it's done on a small level. Well, like yeah, well, I guess if you're doing it for yourself, for your own personal use, it's... Yeah. But it holds, the, like, bogs hold an insane amount of carbon. So yeah. It's just, so if, apart from the burning, it's obviously just terrible to, like, strip them. But yeah, I'm also madly nostalgic for that man. It's lovely. Um, when you're travelling back, what landmarks let you know that you're approaching home? Ah, uh, like you, when you're in the plane and you can see Bray Head. Oh, I know. It's lovely. It's always very nice. Although it's always like, it's right there. I know. Why do we have to go all the way to I know. The... And you start flying past Hope. It's and... the little fields. The little patchwork fields. I, yeah. I do feel like you don't... It's not the same in other countries. <laughs> it's just not as cute or something. Like yeah, I feel like we're Ireland just looks so cute. It from feels the sky. like the, the opening credits of Father Ted. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. You, yeah it really when does. you come in to Dublin Airport. <laughs> oh, next question was when was the last time your whole family spent the day together? Which is madly poignant for me right now because today the Australian government, the Western Australian government, has given a date for opening the borders in two years which is wild so I haven't seen my family I don't think my family's all been in the same room since 2018 wow yeah because my sisters live in Perth with five of my nieces and nephews and yeah we haven't seen them since 2018 I think it was like when my sister got married you haven't actually seen a lot of the children in real life no I haven't met uh, at least two uh, I haven't met three of them Jeepers. I haven't met three of them that's so sad in real life and um obviously because it's western australia the borders have been like completely shut so they haven't been able to leave and we haven't been able to go uh in a very long time so the borders are open well no they're not open but they're allegedly going to be open on the 5th of february which is great news for anyone with family in western australia yeah. so nice. i'm excited about that it's um good. yeah it was a, it's a lot, really long time ago mm. wild specifically at Christmas um, do you know what we love a good quiz Divils for an old uh, uh, general knowledge game gets fierce competitive um, yeah we like an what? old what look at the shortcut what oh my god why does it make you do that other thing what this is wild all the time we spent driving the other way. I've been, like I've been up here so much recently, and I've always gone the other way. But that is mental. Anyway, uh, Jesus, this is such an easier drive. Anyway, so yeah, we like a good quiz. We like a bit of banter on Christmas Day, if, that, if that's what we're talking about. But it's been so long. Again, really sad. Like we haven't had a Christmas. Jesus, we haven't had a Christmas together. I'm trying to think now. Haven't had a Christmas with the whole family probably in close to 10 years yeah yeah easily they've been in Australia seven years before that my brother was in Brazil I oh, Jesus I don't know I think it's probably 10 years if not more which Jeepers. is no maybe okay no, maybe 10 maybe 10 is safe which is really sad yeah I'm trying to make a uh, swim be part of the oh, tradition we did that last year yeah okay let's do it again this year yeah Few, like, we kind of, I feel like I'm part of your tradition, family tradition. Are you indeed? Well, I mean, I'm always there. On Christmas? Uh, well, I feel like I see you 
I feel like I'm up in the house either Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or Stephen's Day pretty much every year. Ah, yeah, but you're like, you're always, you're always there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're always around. Yeah. <laughs> What's your go-to comfort food drink experience when you get back? Uh, uh, in Ireland, mm. yeah, what's my go-to? Oh, like, ah. it has to be like a pint of Guinness oh, yeah. and like a, 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 you know, a cheese toasty in the in the Harbour Bar. Very, very good choice. And now I'm probably feeling a bit delicate, like that's a real hangover cure kind yeah. of uh, thing, but my God, it's delicious. Feels good though. Feels or it's good. nice after like a nice walk. Uh, it's good anytime. I particularly like the Guinness in um, a pub called Morin's in Karna in Connemara. It's outrageous. You love Connemara. I do love Connemara. And comfort food, do you know what? Mashed potato. All day, every day. If you gave me a bowl of mashed potato, day. I'm the happiest woman. The happiest woman alive when I'm eating mashed potato. Have you got any homecoming rituals? For example, songs that you play on the way back in the car? Oh, I do. Oh yeah? Well, not on the way back, but um, so I guess like, these questions are all really on point for us because we have spent the last two years kind of back and forth between here and Berlin. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing long distance, kind of, at those times. A long distance weird. what? Relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, with my boyfriend and uh, anyway whenever we're in the micra uh, together and we're going on a bit of a road trip or like have a bit of time when we're actually like just have time together I guess without the laptops phones and stresses and worries in a perfect world uh, we stick on Jose Gonzalez oh nice it's, re it's always really nice oh lovely alright Pete um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep a little for my for the, our fox friend our fox friend um, yeah it's always really nice and you kind of just Go out west, Jose Gonzalez. It's really lovely. lovely. Yeah, what about you? Well, mum uh, picks me up from the airport. She refuses to drop me to the airport because she finds it too emotional, which can be a bit of a logistical nightmare for yeah. me, to be honest. But yeah. she'll always pick me up and we always get McDonald's. All right? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, look, whatever. All right? You just keep your judgments to yourself. We no, get no, McDonald's. no judgment. I got McDonald's uh, when we went to get a panicked COVID test. And yeah. it, it helped. It's right there in the drive through. It helped. It's delicious. And you're usually getting the like hellishly early flight and you know, you deserve some McDonald's. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. What do you look forward to most over the holiday season? I don't know. I mean, I'd like to say I look forward to relaxing, but the holiday season is, is very busy when you work in uh, I suppose entertainment. Like I, I, you know, have a lot of DJ sets booked. There's yeah, a nice little couch on the there. Sofa. Look at this. That'd be good. Oh, little chill out spot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, you didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I mean, I look forward to yeah, just the cozy, the well, cozy it, vibes. It's mad because so yeah, generally I feel like for us Christmas has been like loads of gigs up to a certain point, and then charity gigs. True, yeah, Or yeah, like yeah. charity events where it's like, oh, can you. Can you're you kind of half relaxed, but then it's like you can't let yourself go too you can't much. Really let yourself go because you've got to. You will have to stand slap in front of people at slap some a point. face on and sing for something. And yeah. then if you've got something on New Year's, you're kind of thinking about that over Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to be honest, it's kind of great when you don't get booked and it sounds yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. In these days I shouldn't be saying that, but it's true. Um, and you can actually just totally flake out. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to watching Emily in Paris season two. Oh, yeah. Followed by Get Back With You. Oh, yeah. A couple of little gonna bottles get... of wine, I think. Oh, yeah. Sounds and good. then I want to watch the new Harry Potter thing. I'm not even sure what it is, but I want to watch it. Oh, Did you right. watch New Sex and City? Yes. <gasps> Did you watch what? it? No. What do you think? Uh, I'm not going to say anything. It's terrible. Is it not no, terrible? I don't think it's terrible. Okay. I enjoyed it. There, it, There's only two episodes there. Samantha's I, dead, is she? I am not. No, she's not dead. No. Okay. Okay, okay. Um... It just deals with some really uh, interesting topics. I think, yeah, I think they've dealt with them in the modern age very in a in a kind of interesting, self enough aware as, as self aware as Sex and City. City could possibly be. Okay. I think uh, the plastic surgery is something to behold. Like Charlotte's face is wonky. Wow. She should fire that surgeon. 
so I sue them. Yeah, uh, Jesus. So yeah. But yeah, no, I am looking forward to just like, yeah. What, it, what even was the question? Was it what are you words? looking forward to over the holiday season? Now you don't say holiday season, do you? That's a real American thing. Holiday season. No, but it's kind of just a, it's a polite thing for... Non-religious. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. I'm looking forward, really looking forward to food. I'm really looking forward to, um, I always ask if anyone, uh, if anyone wants to buy me a present. <laughs> Whenever anyone asks me, whenever my mom asks me, if I want anything, I want fresh pyjamas. Good one. Yeah, fresh pajamas and maybe like I have a dressing gown, but you know, last last year I got a pair of slippers. Oh, it's just lovely. And then yeah. you get into your fresh pajamas and your slippers. Oh, it's so good. That's a very Love it. good vibe. Really looking forward. And I'm actually looking forward to the Christmas Day banter with my brother and sister-in-law. Um, that's all we have right now. <laughs> this is really weird. It's really weird going from a family where it's a big family and there was always loads of us to Christmas just being like you know couple of it's it's so yeah. strange but then it becomes a new thing like we actually had great crack last year yeah and we did loads of quizzes and well, anyway enough with quizzes <laughs> so what landmarks locations areas of national beauty in your hometown do you look forward to seeing that's a nice one because i've actually been you've been in bray i've been i have been not in bray I've which is out. mad because you love bray i love bray you're mad for bray i love bray Hire although me. in fairness like we started the like leaning into the Bray's class thing in a kind of like defiant. ironic way well because we had no choice it was defined because it, it started to live up to its uh, it has it's getting better actually I used to get slagged about being from Bray which I think is absolutely ridiculous probably just because you loved it so much though maybe maybe but I I, I um, shudder at any kind of you know notions in the world especially in Ireland or uh, <laughs> any kind of notions of superiority so um yeah, so we started in, Bryce, in college, we were just like, Bryce Best, it's unbelievable. And in fairness, we have a lovely community, lovely friends, it's a lovely artsy scene, um, which we've always, you know, been quite nourished by. And Bray, I just love, I, I geographically love it. I love the seafront, I love that you can swim any time of day, because I'm out in Sally Main Strand now, and look, it's a very nice, bougie place to be. But yeah. you can't just go for You're something at the behest of the tide. the behest of the tide. The behest. I mean, I'm not saying I jump in every time the tide is, is in. That would be a lie. But um, I, I just don't like having to plan my time. Anyway, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, so this, isn't, really this isn't about don't bring the tariff into this. Sorry. Anyway, uh, I love Bray Head. I love going for a hike. I love the fact that in Bray you can go into a gorgeous Wicklow hike within like a few minutes. Um, what sounds are synonymous with home? Oh, my my six year old nephew hammering on the um, doorbell. Whenever Cute. he arrives, it's just <coughs> to let him in, which is very rude. Uh, my two year old nephew going yeah yeah. That's what they call me because it's very say cleaver. They call him the herd. yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Very adorable. Uh, although now Ruan, this, the two year old is obsessed with, uh, sorry I'm just trying to find parking, he's obsessed snow? with sorry. Witch Doctor, you know that song? Otto the Witch Doctor. Yeah, which he calls Ooh Ah, and oh, like fair. he'll just yep. keep saying Ooh Ah until you play it. And if you don't pay attention he goes Ooh Ah, he gets very angry. Okay now I need to find parking somewhere around here. <laughs> What do you look forward to most? Example, hazy in between Xmas and New Year's Eve period. I yeah. hate that. You hate that. And like, what day is it? Like, who am I? What am I doing with my life? Oh, oh my God, it. I've been eating so much. Ugh. What is it. What is life? Who am I? You love I that. I just love prancing around in my dressing gown and whatever new perfume I have. <laughs> I'm just like, this is great. Well, see, I don't like it because I have a really bad concept of time. Like, whereas it makes me late. But it also, like, days will go by and I won't really realise and then suddenly... What? And it's yeah, we're going straight, you're right. Sorry. Uh, I don't know, yeah, and then and then suddenly three days will have gone by and I'm like, oh shit, that gig's tomorrow. Well, that's when you have a gig, but that's we, we don't have a gig this year. See, I, have, I, have, I have DJ gigs. Oh, you have a DJ gig, yeah, for you. I'm, I love it because I love... Do you have Christmas Day? I love... No, it's probably not going to happen this year, in fairness, but bopping around to family and getting other people's Christmas dinners. I really enjoy that as well. Uh -huh. or, you know, the, the second day, the Stevens' day, Christmas dinner. It's nice to get other people's, see how they've done it. 
I love, you know, I love the glass of wine at one o'clock in the day around Christmas. Yeah. I do love that. I love that, ah, you'll have a cocktail. I go, okay, I will. You know? On Christmas Day? <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, God, yeah. All of them. Oh, or whatever, yeah. when you pop around people and it's just, you know, it's really luxurious sessioning, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High quality sesh. Yeah. Long anticipated combos. That's a nice one. Yeah, I love. Sorry, tell us what's the question. Sorry, again, it's back to that hazy in between period. Yeah. And it's the long anticipated conversations, and I actually like that because, so in Bray, right, the tradition is, people either go out on Christmas Eve or Christmas or Stephen's Day or both. You go down to the pub and you you kind of see everyone. I don't know. Did you, yeah, you would have done that. Harbour and Ducks or something. You go out. Yeah. And you just like see people you haven't seen in ages you see your neighbours and you you sit in the corner chatting to people and you have drinks and have a lovely time and it's a really nice way of catching up with people that you haven't seen I'm really looking forward to having proper sit down chats with friends who've been abroad and who are actually able to come back this year so that's that's a real nice way of putting it actually yes yeah. I look forward to that looking forward to watching Get Back With You and a bottle of red uh-huh. or five What you. signifies the start of the holiday season for you both? Um, I was expecting you to start launching into an answer. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the annual scramble down to Dubray books. Ah, uh, the like the like. last ditch effort to get the Bray <laughs> gifts. That's always the way. You've done your best, and then you're like, oh, there's those last few bits you gotta yeah, get. Real nice day popping around town. I could just never not have a stressful Christmas Eve. Like, and I, no, and every year I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking be so prepared. I've been keeping like notes in my phone all year of what what I'm gonna get people, and then it gets to like December, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Yeah. They'll hate that. <laughs> so I like still, I'm still struggling. Oh, I'm easily pleased. I love whatever it is. Law, I'm not getting you none. What? You're grand. Yeah, fair. Um, we're not really doing presents. Well, actually, this is funny. Uh, they don't neither of them Instagram, so it's fine. My sisters in Australia were like, let's just not do presents this year. You know, we all, which is great. We all have too much. We're gonna. I think we're going to do like a UNICEF vaccination donation thing, which is great. Mm-hmm. But then my mom was like, right, so I know we said that in the WhatsApp group, but we actually are going to do just presents with us, the ones in Ireland. Oh, and nice. not, <laughs> not big presents, I think small things. Yeah, I think some, nice. I think some really organized family members, i.e. my sister-in-law, who is, you know, genetically not related to us, which is why, how this explains it, has already bought presents and it was that organized. Right. None of the rest was our. Uh, what is it about the creative community in Dublin that produces so much musical talent? That's a very good question. There's so much, and there's not so even much. just not just Dublin. No, all over the country. All over the country, there's so much. Uh, there's so much creativity. There's so much passion for yes. uh, being creative. Um, I've got to say, our, our our Irish tour we just did, even though we had to cancel like, a few dates because of me having COVID and things shutting down we've got two more dates left this week but have like getting to go around Ireland again and experience little pockets of of like artistic communities has just been so kind of revitalizing for me like I just feel really um grateful of the scene in Ireland and how many people are really dedicated to like making space for really good art and, and really good music and I think that even though we well, I certainly complain a lot about policy around arts and culture in Ireland, I actually think the people have got it pretty well sussed. You know, there's a lot of really nice spaces and really nice groups of people doing really, really cool things. And that's actually quite rare. I do think that that is something, because our, our German friend was over working with us for for the tour and he was just kind of blown away by how people came to gigs and engaged and how how there was just these little like Connellys of Lap, how these, these places where people would just go and like trust in the fact that that there was a setup there and that they they would like whatever was there, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and that there was a real community around it. And he said that he thought that that's not really as much of a thing in Germany. Really? Yeah. He said that there's just if you go around Germany, there isn't just these venues where where people regularly go. It's more like you know people very much go to a gig to see a band. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's not true, but he, he definitely... Oh. Sorry, I'm actually taking the wrong turn. I should have taken that left. Oh.